All right, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about link aggregation on Synology NAS. If you've ever noticed, almost every single model of Synology disk stations come with at least two gigabit ethernet ports. Why would you ever need two ethernet ports? Well, primarily it's because of what's called link aggregation. Link aggregation is exactly what it sounds like. It's taking a bunch of links together into one faster link. But that doesn't mean that if I had four gigabit connections to both my Synology and to my computer, that I'd be able to get four gigabit connection between my computer and the Synology. That's what's called SMB multi-channel and is currently only supported in Windows to Windows systems. And Synology is based off of Linux, so right now it's in a very unstable phase. However, come the future, this should be a feature. The easiest way to think about link aggregation is to think of it like a highway system in your town. So if you're the only one on the road and there's four highways to get to your house, that does not mean you're going to be able to get to your house four times faster. The only time it's really going to count is when there's a bunch of other cars on the road slowing you down. That means that the four other lanes to go through will mean that you're more likely to have the road to yourself. This is exactly how link aggregation works. Basically, it limits every single individual connection to whatever the network speed of that port is. Just like a road where you can't go faster than 60 miles an hour. But if you have a bunch of people connecting, it will say, okay, that road is busy. You're going to instead go down this road, meaning that you're going to have fewer people on that road and therefore a faster system overall. This is a great feature for small businesses because that's where you're most likely going to have a bunch of people connecting and being able to have every single person getting a gigabit connection is probably all you really need anyway for documents and things like that. However, for video editing, you're probably going to want to aggregate those 10 gigabit connections and do the exact same thing. All right, so for this, I'm going to be using my DS1819 Plus and a Netgear Smart Manage Plus switch. Basically, Netgear's Smart Manage Plus is somewhere in between a fully managed switch and a unmanaged switch. A Smart Manage Plus allows you to do things like link aggregation though and create VLANs. I actually really love this switch because it's got two 10 gigabit connections, which right now is perfect for me. I am looking to upgrade to a model with multiple 10 gigabit switches so I can connect multiple apparatuses at 10 gigabit, but for right now, that's not important. This switch is great and it's under $200 right now. I would highly recommend it, especially if you've got a Synology with a 10 gigabit connection. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I've unplugged the 10 gigabit card. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is log into DSM. And we're just gonna go ahead and go into control panel and then the network settings. So under network interface, we can see right here that I've got two LAN connections. The DS1819 Plus comes with four gigabit connections. And right now I've only got two of them plugged in, LAN three and LAN four. And then LAN five is my 10 gigabit card that is unplugged right now. So setting up link aggregation is incredibly easy on a Synology. You just hit create, create bond, and it pulls up this link aggregation mode menu. All right, so there are three different types of link aggregation. The first is balance SLB. This is a type that does not actually require any custom network configuration and can be used to have failover between two different switches. So if you're in a true enterprise environment and you'd like to have redundant switches, you can actually hook up two ports to one switch and two ports to the other switch and then do balance SLB over that. You're not going to get the same performance as you would using dynamic link aggregation, but you're going to have the advantage of where an entire switch can fail and all of your users would still be able to connect. Then there is balance TCP, which is what we're going to be doing. If you look right here, it's going to tell you that you've got to turn on link aggregation on your switch first, but my experience is you should do the second as if you do it first, you're going to be unable to connect if you've not already set it up. And finally, the last option is active backup mode. Basically, this means you've got two network cables hooked in 
And so if on a moment's notice one of them fails, the other one turns on and starts working. Link aggregation is great because it actually does both. Not only does it allow you to get more throughput into your Synology, but it also provides fault tolerance. I'm gonna show in this demo that if you pull out one of the cables in link aggregation, it keeps going. It's got good failover, which minimizes downtime. All right, so we're just gonna hit next, select the LANs. It's LAN three and four here, the ones that are connected. And we're gonna set up manual configuration just so we know exactly where to log into and hit apply. All right, and the network settings are gonna go through. So while that's doing that, we're gonna go ahead and log into our router, which I've done here. Every router is gonna be different, but it's all about enabling link aggregation on it. So this is the Smart Manage Plus web interface for Netgear switches. And so it's a pretty simple UI, and we're just gonna go down from system into LAG. And so as we can see here, these are our link aggregations and they're currently all disabled. Generally, when I do tutorials, I try to set everything to the way it would be out of the box, but in this case, it was impossible. So to add something in a link aggregation, you go into lag membership, select an ID, and then you give it a name, then simply select the ports you would like to use for that. For me, it's ports one and two on my switch. So now we're gonna go back into lag configuration and we're going to select Synology big, which is that link aggregation, do enable, and it should be LACP. And now we're just gonna hit apply. All right, so currently it still says down. So we're just gonna go ahead and refresh the page. And there it is, it is now up. This means we should have link aggregation set up. So now how are we gonna test that? Well, we can't test it from one computer, we've gotta test it from two. All right, so what I've just done here is I've VNC'd into my laptop and I've mounted on both my laptop and my desktop a RAID 0 folder that contains two SSDs so we should not be saturating it with two gigabit connections. And I've opened up Blackmagic speed test on both and we're gonna go ahead and start it at the same time. That way it has connections coming from two different groups at the same time. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. All right, so as we can see here, the laptop is slightly slower due to the fact that some of the network bandwidth of that gigabit connection is actually being taken up trying to connect this screen back to mine. So it's gonna be slightly slower. But we can see right here that both of them are operating incredibly quickly and are operating over that gigabit threshold total. So that means we successfully have link aggregation going. And then if we go into our Synology, we're getting over a gigabit total just using two gigabit ports. All right, and so now let's see what happens when we rip one of the cords out of the network connection. So I'll leave this up and go in the other room and see what happens. All right, and so as we can see here, it did not skip a beat. All that happened was the traffic that was going through that one port was immediately redirected to the remaining working port. This is great for enterprise use where you don't wanna have a single point of failure take out your entire network. And it has the added benefit of really speeding everything up. All right, well, I hope that was informative for everybody. Go ahead and like and subscribe and whatnot and have a good one, bye.